What's up guys? It's your girl Ashley and today we are on day five of Vlogmas. Happy holidays guys. But before I get into what I'm doing today, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the Keys family and make sure you hit that notification bell right down at the bottom to know when we post a new video. Let's get into it. So, as you may see, I'm very decorative. But beyond that, um, I have two flower boxes, um, and they obviously are fake flowers. Um, and I got some really cute boxes from like Hobby Lobby, um, and I saw some really cute boxes actually at um, Burlington Co. Factory. But today, I have a Christmas bucket that I'm going to be um, making holiday festive like much like my background here very festive right all right so what i have is um a foam foam blocks or um like a it's not styrofoam it's some type of foam block i don't know um but obviously as you can see i've used and or cut um, to make these boxes here um, and they're actually different sizes too. Um, I think when I made this one I used um, a butcher knife <laughs> um, but today I'm going to be using a box cutter. My handy dandy box cutter. Um, and I am going um, to put my flowers just gonna dump these out here. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna put my flowers in a bucket that says Merry Christmas. Because me and my husband celebrate Christmas. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to take the foam blocks and uh, kind of make sure that they just kind of squish into there. Um, I suppose you could just kind of measure it. I don't know what I did with my box cutter. So we're just gonna squish that in there. It doesn't have to be perfect um, because you're not gonna really see that part anyway. But, so then, you're gonna wipe yourself off. And pray you still look decent on the camera. <laughs> All right, so back in the day, I used to be a cable man. Um, and I had to cut some wires. Um, and then um, I had a lot of tools and stuff. So, you know, I was doing cable and whatnot. And then I became a woman and decided that I was going to keep my tools from being a cable man. Anyway, <laughs> not really a man. <laughs> um, so I actually just picked up some flowers um, that were Christmassy um, from the Dollar Tree. Um, I tend to just get whatever looks nice. Um, I can get them from um, Hobby Lobby because that's a place me and my husband like to go. Um, or like I said, the Dollar Tree. So I cut them pretty low to the um, the base that they come on, um, just because um, you know I don't want to mismeasure and then like the this part, the stem, be too short and then I can't you know cut it off and, and make it how I want it. So it's always best to cut as close as to the base as possible. At this point, you see my. Stems are obviously different lengths. Um, so as far as a pattern, I don't know. Let's see. I got some gold, 
and where's the red? I got some red, and then I got some pine cones. So let me start making my box. And then just use my other flowers and I guess kind of fill in. Um, as far as how far to go, my goal is to, hopefully I have enough flowers. Um, my goal is to just kind of fill the bucket up so you don't see like the, the stem um, or the foam, the, the styrofoam base there. Probably honestly say if you were going to do this <laughs> get like a fuller flower I guess yeah I look like I thought this was like mistletoe with like some greenery like you can't tell me that's not mistletoe <laughs> now if you were to go straight down um, and then they like stick up, like they stick up like this, I will pull it out, cut the bottom so you can push it down even further just so they sit like right above the rim of your box or um, in my case my bucket, um, just so they sit like right, right at the edge. Right now, because I'm sticking them in at an angle, um, it's, it actually is working out pretty well for me right now. <laughs> This pine cone is a little ragged, guys, so I think I'm just going to <laughs> leave that one out. This one's cute, though. It's got glitter on it. We'll put that one in there. So, there's actually almost like a flower in the way, so I'm just going to take that out. Pop my pine cone in there. This is that super cute? Oh my gosh. This is like way cuter than I thought it was going to be. messy project I tell you all right so I have made for you my Christmas or holiday flower box super cute it would probably look really cute as like um, a table decoration this leaf's gonna get on my nerves so I think my favorite part um, of this flower box is probably the glitter pine cones and like this green like foliage stuff. But there you go. And there you have it. A happy holiday, Merry Christmas flower box. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching my um, happy holiday flower box 
And before I go, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and hit the notification bell right down at the bottom to know when the Keys family, me, or my husband post our next video. You guys have a good one. Bye. Bye.